Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. And today uh, I will uh, answer the question uh, I got in a comment by Varsha Prakash. Uh, that you know, when in DevOps interview, it is asked that can you explain the architecture of your project and what your application actually do, like the project that you have worked on, what your applications are actually doing. Can you explain that? So this is a very tricky question. Why is it tricky? Because <clears throat> the interviewer is checking here three things. First of all, it, he is checking that your technical knowledge. Second, your ability to communicate and tell about your project clearly. Third is how you will show the ownership of the systems that you have worked on. How will you show the ownership that you have worked on these things and you know it? Okay. So yeah, this is a very tricky question and a very, uh, you know, uh, important question. So when you are answering this question, start with high level overview. Okay. By high level overview, I mean that, uh, you know, you will start that we uh, have a microservice architecture we deploy our application on kubernetes by containerizing everything by containerizing using docker and then our services communicate with each other using rest api and message queues and you know message queues like kafka and rapidmq so this will show the, the overall design of your application that it's a microservice architecture and you are containerizing uh, uh, the uh, each services and then you are deploying it on Kubernetes. Now, second thing is explain, explain the application and their purpose. Okay, so this tells the interviewer that you just don't know uh, you, uh, you you don't only know about your devops but you also know about the business value or the application okay so you can tell that your application is uh, like a you know it it is a trade processing platform you know uh, this is for one of the financial institution and this application they use that the data comes uh, from you know the data the core application ingest trades from upstream uh, systems then validates them and then the downstream consumer consume that data then uh, after that we have supporting services like authentication reporting monitoring dashboards and this is how you know this is how the application this is the application like this is what the application is and you know uh, what we are actually supporting in devops uh, that you can tell now next thing comes that you relate the uh, you'll tell about the devops architecture like what how you are handling the uh, devops thing for this application so uh, with each you know when the data when the uh, data is pushed or uh, every time the code is pushed the devops pipeline the CICD pipeline uh, whether it is Jenkins or whatever uh, tool you have used that gets triggered and then it passes through you know automated build stage unit test there are scans then it passes to you know containerization stage where you know we are containerizing the application using docker then we are deploying it on kubernetes and then you know uh, we are monitoring it using prometheus and grafana and secrets and all we are managing through vault so this is how this will explain about the devops architecture of your application now interviewers are very intrigued to know that you know how uh, environments like in uh, how many environments are there where uh, like how you are deploying it to prod like before deploying it to prod how you uh, do the test and all in which which environment the flow they are very intrigued to know 
so you can tell that um, you know we have environments like dev qat uat production so first of all and the code is tested in dev then uh, you know uh, it is promoted to qa where more functional testing is done and then for you know uh, for production uh, uh it is finally deployed to production so same image which was developed in uh, uh, you know dev that will get promoted to qa and tested over there and then once it passes in qa that will get promoted that will be used for deploying in you know production you can tell that we are doing uh, deployment on kubernetes using helm and for rollbacks we are using helm releases so where whatever rollback we have to do we are using helm releases we can uh, you know uninstall the uh, helm release which is currently there and we can uh, you know install the uh, previous helm release and the rollback will happen so keep it tailored keep it concise don't go very deep explaining about your project because that will not only confuse you but the interviewer and you know overall high overview keep it concise keep it crisp so that he is also you know uh, he also get the understanding and you are also not confused because if you go very deep there are many things that are happening but these are the pointers that you can tell if this question comes in your devops interview so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful and please let me know your views and you know your queries uh, in the comment section till then take care bye